Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I apologize if my voice sounds a bit hoarse today. It's the allergies that are getting to me, such as the way of life in Florida, all the pollen in the air. But other than that, I feel great. And, well, in this particular video, we find ourselves in Lexington, Kentucky, with cult news as he attempts to film inside of a DMV only to find himself getting kicked out and trespassed. And well, he spends the majority of the video bitching and complaining about it, but we're not going to show you all that. We're just going to show you the part where he really gets trespassed. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hey everybody, KULT News back again with another video. Today, we are at a DMV in Lexington, Kentucky. Let's go ahead and pop in on these people with cameras rolling and see if they respect our rights to take photos and videos in public and in publicly accessible places. Let's, uh, let's rock and roll. And except for the let's rock and roll part of that, uh, you pretty much stole that entire in intro from uh, Long Island Audit. And most of you frauders these days are emulating him. You're all using the same intro but with the building that you're going to be auditing in the primary focus of the shot and uh, you behind the camera narrating that crap and they're like, let's get into it or something like that. Yeah, uh, when one does it, it's fairly unique. When a bunch of you do it, it becomes unoriginal. So, Cult News, uh, you're not exactly a uh, forward-thinking person, are you? Because you can't just you just can't come up with an original intro or something like that. I mean, good freaking grief! Regional offices. Thank you. Oh, hey there. How are you? How are you? Not bad. So, is this the uh, the official DMV? Uh, well, is one would uh, go to get their driver's license and what have you? Yes. And is it uh, just the first floor, the second floor, all it's over? It's on the second floor. On the second floor. All right. What do you guys do? You sit out here and guide people to where they need to go? Yeah. You get the lucky spot right next to the vending machines, I see. Yeah. Very good. That's the spot to be. If you're going to be uh, gonna be working, giving directions, you want to sit by the honey buns. All right, all right. It seems so quiet here. I've never, it's like the quietest. This There's is a, a lot more going on upstairs. Ah, okay, all right, all right. Well, we'll keep it quiet. I'm sorry? Yes, yes. What's that? What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm just taking some uh, pictures and video of uh, publicly accessible parts of the, the building. I don't think you're able to because this is government. Well, uh, is, is he able to do that? If, it, if, uh, I mean, that's not my call. if, yeah. if anything, because it's government, makes it that much more that I can record. If it was well, private, if it was private, I wouldn't be able to. But yeah, government buildings, yeah, I, you go to Washington, D.C., you can take all the pictures and video you want. Oh, you're talking about Washington, D.C. Okay. Uh, how about you go to one of the government buildings over there and experiment with that? How about. The Pentagon. Yeah. Why don't you go over to where the Pentagon is and walk in and try the same thing there? Oh, I'm sure they'll be more than delighted to uh, walk you around all the classified areas just because you're a member of the public with a camera. So, yeah, post offices. Yeah, you can, you can photograph any government buildings unless it's like... Uh, you know, they say courtrooms. What is it? Courtrooms? I'm going to tell you what you do. Huh? You wait right here. No problem. I'll go get the head man, the head lady, and they'll set that off. Okay. So I'm going to get the head lady for for what now? Well, I don't want to. I don't want to talk to the head lady. I don't. I don't think you're coming down. But yeah, this is a public building, right? Is this not a public building? I'm so confused. This is a public building. It is a public building, right? I just told you what I said. What they do? They're going to take them to a second, but a walk. So, uh, I'm right back. Yeah, all right, super. Yeah, just don't be right now. Yeah, yeah, so, well, I, it's a public building. Yes. 
Who am I with? Yeah, because the, yeah, you can't actually do this. I, I can't take pictures in a public building? I'm so confused. Right, no. Why? Yes. But why? You can be outside, but not inside. Is a public is allowed in here? Reason, is it a reason why you're taking pictures? Yes, there's definitely a reason why I'm taking pictures. I am an investigative reporter and I'm doing a story. I'm gathering okay, so content for a story. But I'll, wait, have, I'll have you talk to our. Is this like not a public lobby? I'm so confused. Here. Is the public allowed in this area? Well, well, the reason why you're confused is because common courtesy and laws and policies just don't make any sense to a no good dirty frauder anyway because you don't believe in the law At the very least uh, the laws don't apply to you one bit because you are very special and i do mean special in that special kind of way i mean like if i didn't have a camera yeah. would i be having any it's troubles always been and I'm not trying to be difficult. Well, just, this is what we normally do. Okay? Is, is this a publicly, publicly accessible lobby, though? I mean, if it's a publicly accessible lobby, if you can see it, you can shoot it. Unless I'm in a courtroom, bathroom, locker room, or dressing room, the law is very clear on, on the fact that you can take photos and videos in public. Yeah, you're talking about the public forum doctrine. Yeah, you're fine out on the sidewalks or any other place like that outside of the building but in non-public or uh limited public forums like the dmv where uh, private information is being exchanged well the rules change because of privacy issues now because this video is so long let's just go ahead and fast forward to when he gets onto another floor and uh the shit really hits the fan after that Well, these guys are kind of losing their minds over a camera in a big, giant, beautiful DMV building. I don't understand the logic behind that, but we'll see how this plays out. I heard somebody say they've already called the police on me. For crying out loud, what have I done? Taking pictures in a lobby? Ooh, it's a crime of the century. Oh, yes. All right, well, I'll take a picture and head out then. It should be not accessible to the public if it's not open. Yeah, you're talking about the public forum doctrine. Yeah, you're fine out on the sidewalks or any other place like that outside of the building, but in non-public or uh, limited public forums like the DMV where uh, private information is being exchanged, well, the rules change because of privacy issues. Now, because this video is so long, let's just go ahead and fast forward to when he gets onto another floor and uh, the shit really hits the fan after that. Many, many minutes later. Watch out, it's a monster, he's a monster. Walking around with a camera, he took pictures in our lobby. These folks seem to think that this public lobby is, is their private living room and they lose their freaking minds when you, when I walked in there, literally in the public lobby. Just taking photos of the beautiful, I don't know if you've been in here. It's not working space, bro. There's it, private information going on. Right. In the lobby. On the the privacy day, concerns. Mm. Yeah. In the lobby. You, you have... Yeah, that's yeah. where we're our workspace. Yeah, well, is yeah. anybody holding up sheets with like private information written in Sharpie because it's physically impossible for me to get any private information in there. Huh, physically impossible for you to walk up behind somebody and zoom in on some paperwork and see what they've got going on? Uh, yeah, physically impossible. Yeah, right, dumbass. Because it's a public lobby. The security guy actually didn't tell me to leave. He told me to stop He's taking photos. To he told me to stop taking photos. So, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, people lose their minds when you aim a camera at, uh, at a public building. So, no worries. All is well here. Okay. So, what are we doing now? Well, I'm just standing here videotaping the outside of the building now. Okay. That's a beautiful day for us. It is a very beautiful day. It's very, very nice. I'm sorry, what's that? You cannot take video or take pictures inside of a state building. 
please tell me you guys can educate him on this. Please tell me you're going to tell him the, the actual law regarding taking video in a lobby. It's a public lobby. They, they, you can't be tossed out of a public building if you're not breaking the law. I haven't broken any laws. I can walk into a public building, take pictures and video, and walk out unaccosted. God bless America. I, yeah, it's perfectly legal. Nobody in this building has the authority to toss me out of a building that is a public building paid for by our taxes. I've every right to, I'm not going in restricted areas. I'm, in fact, I went up on the third floor and as soon as I got up there, somebody downstairs yelled, that's a restricted floor. And I said, well, then they should probably have a key card access only, whatever, but I left. But you know, hey, they're telling me the entire floor is third floor is restricted. I left the third floor. But they can't kick me out of a building, out of a public lobby, because I'm taking pictures and video. That's not a crime. In fact, not only is it not a crime, it's the polar opposite. It is a constitutionally protected activity. I am with the press, I'm a journalist, and I have every right to walk into this building and take photos and video. 100%. Are you done now? I am not done now. No, no. I'll be, uh, I mean, done talking or just done working. Because, no, I'm going to stick around a little bit, document the rest of the building. It's probably set on one of the coolest, most aesthetically pleasing properties of any DMV I've been to. And I've been to a lot of DMVs around America. Are you guys having a good day today? So far, so good. Well, the day's still young, though, right? I don't know if you guys work the day shift or if you're working nights or whatever, but... Yeah, could I, uh, if you wouldn't mind, um, you could I get a business card? Oh, that'd be fantastic. That'd I appreciate it. <laughs> Would you like one as well? No? Uh, nah, she's with me. Thank you, sir. And you know, he goes in circular reasoning mode from this point on until the supervisor shows up and pretty much confirms that, well, he can't be doing what he's doing and he is trespassed. So let's go ahead and jump ahead to that footage and then we will close it out because like I said, this video is almost an hour long and most of it is him bitching and complaining. 15 minutes later. Well, you know, I'd, I'd be a little better if I didn't feel like I was was supposed to be arrested for walking into a public building taking a few pictures. No, Officer McBride is, uh, I, I'm going to file a complaint against him, man. He's aggressive. He's, he's suggesting point blank that uh, I'm trespassing in a public building because I was taking photos and it's, it's crazy. This is nuts. I mean, I walk into a public building to take photos okay. and video and they act like I walked in with a gun. Uh, well, you got to understand where we come from when we have people filming us for various reasons. I'm just trying to leave. She was also with him. Would you like me to go ahead and leave your car? Yeah, I just didn't mind. Anyway, I just. Uh, Honestly, I was in there for 10 minutes tops. I walk in and I've got beautiful pictures. I mean, it's a beautiful building. Absolutely. The, the minute I walk in, security guy is like, hey, you can't take photos in here. I'm like, nah, don't be silly. Of course I can. Yeah. I wasn't swearing. I wasn't raising my voice. I wasn't yelling, being very respectful. Had multiple. Did he, ask you to leave? Uh, he did not ask me. He asked me oh. to stop taking photographs. Oh. Multiple people flipping me off, like employees flipping me off. And I'm like, what? Nothing what? to do with what that. What have I done here? I apologize. I'm, I'm in a, so, I'll tell you this. So, uh, Officer McBride's yeah. probably one of my better ones that I've got well, um, here. He, and, and I'll be honest with you. So, this, you, you know how this happens. I mean, we see people do this across the country to where they come in and think that they're they're going into a building. Just because you go into a building. Now, what do they do? When you said do this. Listen to, listen uh, to yeah, me. Yeah, listen yeah. To sure, sure. So, we have people that try to, you know, go in and film and you're filming us and you know, to draw a reaction out of us or, or whatever you might be doing. I, I don't no, know. No. But I, I will tell you this. So when we talk to their security guard, they've asked you to leave. We're going to ask, the security guard's going to tell you to leave. And then we, because it is, even though it is public, a public building, mm -hmm. they have the right to, because you're causing, you're, you're being disorderly in a fashion that you're causing a nuisance noise and alarm to people by taking photographs of them and stuff like that. When, when they're, when you're doing things and they've asked you to leave. So they have the right to ask you to leave because you have no legitimate business on in, inside the building, correct? That's have, that is incorrect. Well, what is your legitimate business inside the building? And I'm, I'm just no, asking sure, sure. so that way we know. I'm a journalist okay. gathering content for a story. All right. I wasn't photographing individual people well, so much as just the building itself. And I did a little thing on the, uh, on the DMV thing, Perfect. how you can... 
you can get your driver's license renewed and there's okay. still information on there about Absolutely. it. But I'm certainly not doing anything okay. that would rise to the level of disorderly conduct. Well, I wasn't, that's fine, but listen to me. Yeah. Disorderly to you could be disorderly to somebody else and they're calling on you because it's causing a nuisance and alarm. So whatever that might be, but here's the deal. The security guard is here with us. They've asked you to leave. We're gonna, he's gonna ask you to leave again. And then unfortunately, then if, if that's the case, I don't put us in this position because the last thing we wanna do is place you in custody. Because, sure, absolutely, um, I agree. So, I mean, the but, last thing I wanna do is lose my freedom today <laughs> for lose my freedom today for, uh, for, doing so, my, for doing my so job. So are you saying that I'd be trespassed from this DMV building? Yes, if the secure, so anybody that, that's in charge of this building, they have the right to come in because you have caused a nuisance and a noise and alarm. By photographing. To, well, to people because of things that you're doing. So it's kind of startled people because people don't understand exactly what you're doing. So if you had been a little bit more vocal with people I couldn't and have been, maybe a little bit more cooperative. Sergeant, I couldn't have been sir, more, you, I couldn't have been. You're kind of putting us in a bad spot. So I'm gonna let you talk to the security guard. And then from there, we'll, I, I'm hoping that you'll, you will leave the premises with the security guard. But Sergeant, just to be clear, I couldn't have been more courteous, more direct, Absolutely. and plain about what I was doing. Oh yeah, that's a bunch of BS right there, and you know it. You were being indirect with your answers, if you answered at all, and you went up to the third floor, and when they asked you to leave, it took you quite a while to get off the third floor to begin with. So yeah, uh, there were other examples of uh, what you were doing, but... You know what? That could fill a library. And, well, this video is going on way too long already. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and close it out here because you got trespassed anyway. So enjoy your new trespassing charges. And why don't you make like a tree and get out of there? But in the meantime, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?